The health department has admitted that there are huge problems at the Chris Harney Baragwanath Academic Hospital in Soweto. And the ANC says a highly anticipated report on possible reform in the mining sector is merely a discussion document. I'm Richard Brooks. The health department has admitted that there are huge problems at the Chris Harney Baragwanath Academic Hospital in Soweto. Spokesperson Fidel Khadebe says the national and provincial health departments are talking with the hospital to resolve staff shortages. Nurses from the Defence Force have already been deployed to help out at the hospital. He was responding to reports which cite a letter leaked from the hospital's head of obstetrics to his counterpart at Witz University. In the letter, Dr. Eckhart Buchmann describes how staff shortages and overcrowding have led to two avoidable infant deaths this month. The ANC says a highly anticipated report on possible reform in the mining sector is merely a discussion document. Spokesperson Keith Corsa says it will be taken to ANC branches and structures and recommendations will be moved forward to the National Policy Conference on June 26 in Midrand. Mineral Resources Minister Susan Shibangu has said the report reinforces the ANC's earlier decision that nationalisation is not a viable policy. Proposals for new mining taxes in the report make mention of a 50% tax on the sale of mining rights and a tax of up to 50% on so-called super profits. More than 100 workers of Impala Platinum Mine are expected to appear in the Puking Magistrates Court near Rustenburg in the northwest on charges of public violence. This follows their alleged unruly and disruptive demonstration at the hostels yesterday. Workers refused to vacate the hostels when ordered to do so by the mine officials who had a list of names. Police were called in and they were arrested. Some workers do not want to vacate the hostels or reapply for their jobs. They've also vowed to stop anyone who tries to go to work and will only reapply if the mine increases their salaries. Impala Platinum has dismissed over 17,000 workers following a two-week-long illegal wage strike. Men are more capable of managing their debt than women. That's according to credit bureau CompuScan. They found that more than 10% of accounts belonging to men showed a worsened payment profile over the festive season. Women were higher at more than 12%. CompuScan's public relations officer, Tina Louise Butner, says men learn from their overspending mistakes quicker than women. Our statistics show that it is particularly true for younger women under the age of 29 who are now struggling to meet those repayments. We, this may be a result of a lack of budgeting or perhaps it's just their first experience with credit and they just don't know how to manage their debt. And this is really where the problem lies. It's not that women are spending more than men, but just they don't seem to be as capable as handling their repayments and handling their debt is what men are.